Welcome back. And John, before the break, was speaking about your relationship with Athena Star Woman. And I believe she passed away from breast cancer. Yep. Now, with all the work you do in the world, with the concept by, of, of the secret, you know, the law of attraction, the power of positive thinking, there's going to be a lot of people out there who have a disease which may be considered terminal. How do we apply what the secret says to something like that? Well, you know, everybody is living their life uh, according to their values. Mm -hmm. And we sometimes have, uh, we subordinate ourselves to outside authority sometimes and inject the values of others into our lives and try to live some life we're not. In other words, we sometimes try to be somebody we're not. Emerson warned against this and he said, Env envy is ignorance and imitation is suicide. And our unconscious values are our real values and our conscious values may or may not match those. So what we say we want in life and what our unconscious values actually dictate are sometimes two different things. Like I ask people um, all the time if they, how many of you would love to be wealthy? Well, everybody puts their hand up. I said, how many are financially wealthy? And they put their hands down. Most of them do. Mm -hmm. And I said, but you say you want that, but yet your life doesn't demonstrate that. So unconsciously, what that means is in your hierarchy of values, the things that are really important to you, when you get money, you spend money on things and you don't save it. You don't invest it and study that. So what happens is what you say you want and what you actually want are two different things. And many people with health conditions actually have unconscious motives helping create those health conditions to get things they want. Let me give you an example. I had a lady that uh, she tried, her parents, I mean, when, when she well, was raising a family, she was very close to the kids and her kids then felt almost smothered and they disappeared. They literally went to different parts of the world to get away from to get away, Well, I won't say just to get away from her, but unconsciously they were trying to, they got jobs that just took them away. Mm -hmm. And so she didn't have her kids. Well, her kids were everything to her. So she would kept try to get them to come back and visit her. And it was such a long distance, they just didn't want to do that easily. Well, she would try guilt trips. She would try everything and nothing she could try to do to get them back. She tried everything. Cancer worked. Oh, dear. One moment she got cancer, they all came. And it was her realization during chatting with her, she, she actually revealed this to herself, mm -hmm. that she said, I just wanted to do everything I could to try to find my, together, my family together. And I couldn't seem to do it no matter what I did. The only thing that actually finally brought him here was me getting sick. Now people will unconsciously create things that they're not even realizing they're doing in order to get outcomes that's high on their value list. I had another lady that came into me who was a diabetic and had been doctors all over the place and was pretty well being taken care of by Medicare, Medicaid in the States. And she had a person that was taking care of her, this lovely black lady that was taking care of her and wheeling her around in a wheelchair. She had some ulcers in her legs, her, her eyes were starting to go, she was breaking down and she was on insulin. And she came into my office and I had seen somebody else that had amazing results with some diabetes, literally healed their legs and got back into function and they dropped their insulin, everything else. And I truly believed, when after doing an evaluation of her, that I could help her. And I was presenting her the, 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 that I was going to be able to help her in the report of findings. I was going to tell her that I could really help this lady. She looked at me, and she didn't have a smile on her face, and she looked at me, and after I presented this great news for her, she says, Dr. Martini, I, I don't know how to say this, but I'm going to have to pass on this. I said, why? I'm giving you an opportunity. And she says, you see that lovely lady out there in the reception room, that black lady? She's been me for a number of years now, almost a decade. She takes me places, she feeds me, she bathes me, she wheels me around, she knows my dark secrets, she knows everything about my life, she's my closest loved one. If I get out of this wheelchair and I go and do back to my normal life, the person that's most close to me is gone. I can't take that risk. So I really appreciate what you're saying and everything else, but I, the value I'm getting out of being where I'm at I said, well, why is it that you go to doctor, doctor, and try to get help? She says, well, I guess I've been going around because as long as I'm going and attempting, I get coverage economically. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to have to face that about myself, but the truth is I really don't have an intention of doing this. I get more benefit out of doing this. And see, people have unconscious motives. And I've seen this over and over in the health profession, that some people, if they really have a congruent value to bring wellness back to their life, they do. I worked with a lady the other day in an oncology unit, who has 38, almost 39 years working in oncology units. She'd been a nurse there. Now she, and when you've been working that long in an oncology, you've seen a lot of stuff. 
And she says, we go in there and we have a 92%, about 92% probability knowing who's going to walk out and who's not going to make it. Mm -hmm. We know in advance by their attitude and by their goals and what they're saying and how they talk and what their meanings is. We've narrowed it down and we know who's going to make it. I've heard that before, actually. And she said that we know the people that have a will to live and a reason for live and have more motivated to, to bring wellness back to their life are the ones that do.